Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 6 for biology outreach I'm going to present about Factor Mediation Project Special thanks to our biology teachers, Suzu Kifli, teachers Niza and Sivazli for guiding us throughout this project. Our group members are Nur Muhammad Nazmi, Wan Daniel, Wan Muhammad Zal Haika, Abiyah Tadawiyah, Sharifah Fatiha and Wafa Wazia. Fatal mediation is the use of plants to extract or remove toxic substances in soil which can cause pollution. Examples of toxic substances Heavy metals such as chemium, mercury, copper, lead, zinc and arsenic are poisonous to most of the plants and underground animals. Meanwhile, carbon monoxide gas and cigarette smoke are harmful to humans. Some of the plants have ability to remove or convert toxic substances to non-toxic substances. The problem statement for this experiment is Are phytomediation plants effective in controlling water pollution? The aim is to study the effectiveness of phytomediation plants in controlling water pollution. This is the roots of the common water hyacinths can absorb ammonia from in lake water. Variables for manipulated the presence of water hyacinths, responding reading of ammonia at the end of the experiment, and constant volume of lake water. The materials and apparatus. Iconia cresides, 10 liter of lead water, 100 milliliter of 10% of ammonia chloride, tap water and ammonia test kit. For the apparatus, two glass containers with 5 liter capacity. Now let's proceed to our experiment. So first, we need to uh, clean the high sinks from dirt and mud by using water. Next, fill the two glass containers with 5 liters of lake water and label them A and B. Insert 50 ml of 10% ammonium chloride solution into each container that we labeled earlier. Record the initial reading of ammonia in both containers using the ammonia test kit. So the ammonia test kit uh, looks like this. Six water hyacinths from step one into container A. Next, lift both glass containers at room temperature. After 7 days, record the final reading of ammonia in containers A and B by using the ammonia test kit. After 7 days, it is found that the lake water in containers A is clearer than the lake water in container B. This 
is due to container A contains water hyacinth. Water hyacinth has long roots that can accumulate heavy metals such as copper and lead in water. In this experiment, water hyacinths remove ammonia in the lake water by absorbing the ammonia to the roots. Next, uh, record the results. From the table, we can see that the reading of ammonia in the lake water in glass container A in the beginning of the experiment is 3, while at the end of the experiment, the reading of ammonia reduced to 1. For glass container B, the reading of ammonia in the lake water at the beginning of the experiment is 3, and it remains the same until the end of the experiment. The conclusion that can be made from this experiment is, hypothesis is accepted. The roots of common water hyacinth can absorb ammonia found in lake water. So next we look at the question. First question, table 1 shows the uses of root of groundwater spinach and river water spinach. So for equation, we need to identify the x and y. So the answer for X is mercury and the answer for Y is cadmium. So for the next question which is B, other than X, name one nutrient that can be absorbed by root of groundwater spinach. So we have a variety answer which is copper or arsenic, zinc and lead. Last but not least, for question C, diagram 9 shows the chemical factory operating near the river. So for the question, the amount of waste released by the factory into the river causes the content of ammonia in the river to rise tremendously. So as a chemical engineer, suggest a method to solve this problem so that the aquatic animal is not dead. So for the answer is, phytoremediation method can be used because it can degrade, extract or eliminate heavy metals such as ammonia and radioactive substances in water by using plants like Iconia crassips. So that's all for the question. Before we end this video, we'd like to give our special thanks to our biology teachers, Cikgu Sukifli Bin Awang, Teacher Wanas Ninza Binti Hassan, and especially our main guide, Cikgu Muhammad Fazli Bindola for guiding us throughout the project. We also would like to thank Sisma for giving us this opportunity to participate in the outreach. To all members of Group 6, Rabia Tu, Wan Deni Zukanai, Wan Zarif, Nazmi, Wafa and Sharifah, thanks for giving the best cooperation and thank you for the people who supported us along the process of getting this project done. That's all from us. Thank you.